It's been a minute. Let's go ahead and go to the special event. We have 5,008. That is a lot. We're just going to go ahead and buy everything in the shop. I don't know the fastest way to do this, but uh, yeah, just going to start redeeming. Paper Dragon. The rat from Ninja Turtles. I forget his name. It's like. Oh, uh, yeah, I really forget the name. Let me know in the comments what his name is. It's like the rat that, like, trains them. Rat Racer. Oh, my goodness. The Chinese love rats. Octane Dragon. What's this look like? They already have that logo. It just said, we'll make another one just like it. That's pretty terrible. So far, I'm not impressed with these car designs. Yeah, wow, these are just red envelopes. Wow. All right, Fortune. That's, uh, that's a little different. Don't know if I like them, but we'll go ahead and get those. And then this is what we've been waiting for. The Golden Lanterns, baby. Redeem. And redeem. And you guessed it, redeem. Go ahead and redeem. And last but not least, redeem. And I think leveling up gets you like items, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can do a trade up. So I'll just go ahead and do this a few times. See if we can get some trade ups later. Blueprints? I don't know what it is these days. Like, this game is so terrible. Ah, we got the. Oh, we got a ton of stuff there. So we can hit this five more times. Some basic math. Alrighty, last one. And we got Mr. Hot Dog. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and. Wow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit the garage. We're gonna hit manage inventory. Oh uh, yeah, now they include literally everything in this game, like in the inventory. That's pretty stupid. I don't know how to um see oh common, I guess the stuff that is useless. So uncommon. I'm gonna start trading stuff up. These gift packs. Gonna open up these gift packs. This animation sucks. We got a blue, which is common, I think. Or what is that? Rare, I guess it's called. The Jaeger, Mr. Monsoon. Don't care. Open pack. And we got. Oh, let's go, man! I needed one of those. I love that. That's a, that's big. I like the migraine. <laughs> the Roadhog Sunday. We got two more left. Come on. Give me a yellow. Give me a red. A painted red. <gasps> oh, man. That could have been crazy. Or purple. I forgot. There's purples in this game. There's a 1% chance of... Oh, red? What is that? Oh, werewolf. Purple werewolf. It's mid. So, our biggest thing was... We got the Infinium. So it was actually a pretty good five egg opening because it shows you like the chances of what you get out of stuff now. Or used to before they got rid of crates. But um Yeah, it's like a one percent chance to get any of the those items. I don't know how to like make it stay there. And yeah, you have to buy money now. You can't just open crates for a dollar each. You have to spend like money on the blueprint. Because the blueprints doesn't mean you have it, it means that you can buy it. So yeah, ever since Epic bought for or uh, Epic Games bought Rocket League, yeah, they just made it all about spending all the money possible. So um, yeah, imagine if these are white, white striker zombies. What do we uh, what do we want to do now? Oh, trade up. What's the best way to do that? Show filters, quality. We'll do rare. Go ahead and trade some of these puppies up. We got pigeon. Rare, two hot dogs, Mr. Hot Pepper, Moon Rock, I'm smoking Moon Rock. <laughs> uh, we only have four? No way. Let me go back. I know I just miss hit something. Yeah, we had six. Oh, I can't be traded in? Oh, uh, it's like it's its own category type of thing. 
That's stupid, man. I'm gonna go back. I've never traded with anyone on PC before. I've still yet to do that. Um, I guess that's it. So that was um pretty average. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I would queue ranked, but I don't know. I'm actually gonna do something else. I'm not gonna queue ranked. I'm not gonna watch some BS gameplay of me just destroying kids at 1600 because I'm sure it'd be uh yeah me destroying kids. I'm gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna look at one of these. Okay, if you're watching this and you want to get better, which my teammates better be watching this and want to get better, we're going to go ahead and look at this. So, what do we want to watch? Who doesn't want to watch Game 7, NRG, Vitality? Like, come on. you got to be crazy if you don't want to watch that. I don't know how to control with keyboard as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this with the controller and watch through. Who do you want to watch? Justin, there's so many people. Gare, Justin Turbo, KDOT, Fairy Scrub. Um, yeah, I just want to do a little analysis on like what people go for and things like that. But we'll watch Justin. I think he's a pretty solid player. Like obviously, that was kind of the stupidest thing. He's a good player to learn from, is what I mean to say. So alright, I haven't really been paying attention, just been kinda watching. So, that was a good hit by Turbo. Justin didn't think it's in corner. Gonna go ahead and get back. Turbo as. And he's standing right behind him. Easy beat, because he was in a great position to hit. Nothing you could really do there, so he shot it on that. And he gets back. Gotta watch boost, gotta watch his positioning. Like, there. Really surprised he just, like, turned so quickly. He didn't go to net. He just was right there, so why not go for it? So stuff like that, I wouldn't really think to do. I would just go to net and like have a solid big rotation, but it's good to cut off stuff, stuff sometimes. Can't really hit that ball, so he has to go back. Let turbo bang. Wow. That was a that was the hardest ball. That was the greatest clear I've ever seen. Doesn't help that KDOP hit it, I think, or whoever that was. Yeah, he just nuked it. Didn't even hit the ceiling. That's a great pass by Turbo. Justin was playing more behind him though. Yeah, instead of like I don't know. So I watch him from Turbo's point of view too, because he's just a simple player, you know. He's the brains. So nothing wow, I don't know what that was. That was really weird. He just said Like, do you think that was intentional? I honestly think that was unintentional. He just didn't mean to do that. So, he's going to go for this, of course. Both teammates are downfield. Both shoe, I recall that. I need to, oh, that's a lucky spawns. Can't do anything there, so he gets back. He's in mid. Turbo goes for a solo play. See? I feel like stuff like this is so easy to replicate, you know? So much easier said than done. Like, yeah, turn right here, <laughs> go for it. It's like, yeah, I would do this all the time. But then when you get in the game, it's like nothing like it. Yeah, every time the ball is flown over Justin, he just gets back. Like, it's no biggie. Someone will be there to clean it up. That was great positioning by Turbo. That's a great pass. You see, Justin should always score these, and he does, because he's mechanically great. That was a super good pass by Turbo, though. Do not forget about that. He turned on 20 boost. He had 20 boost, and he was able to get it to him. Just want to see from oh, we'll his you one more time why this worked. Ah, uh, because he originally went for that ball. Yeah, wow, he faked the air dribble so hard. That's impossible to save. It's back, it's boost, backboard. 
pretty easy touch. Nothing too big there. Garrett just sat in net with terrible the whole time. It was okay to stack two in net there. Yeah, Garrett should have that. He got dunk. Plenty of time though. Scrub just effed himself. That's a good passing play. Almost in. And once again, I think that passing play didn't work because they had two in net. And Servo was trying to down with them too. So, it's never really a bad thing to sit in net, at least in my opinion, because you can always make the save. You don't have to challenge for no reason. If you can't get it, then don't challenge. Fairy Pete just kind of stayed with Scrub. Yeah, Scrub didn't nap, but Fairy did. Yeah, it's pretty easy save for him. He just kind of waited. And being like sideways parallel with the goal is way easier to make a save. It's easier than like sitting in net, facing out from net, because turning left and right can be pretty tough. All right, let's go ahead and go back to Justin, I guess. All the way back for boost. Free ball looks like. That's all theirs though. Oh. I wonder how jittery they, jittery they are because it's game seven. Yeah, they just wait. Like Turbo and Garrett just literally wait for the hit. Like, they don't panic at all. They don't go for something they can't hit. Justin, once again, didn't dive out on the ball. He didn't have to meet the challenge. There's no reason to. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to me to see that. That's the one thing I noticed watching pros play. They just kind of sit and wait for the ball to be given to them. Yeah, and that's just... I remember seeing that too. Everyone freaked out when that went in because I think Gary got dunked here. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Garrett got dunked. He couldn't see because of smoke. I'm sure he would have had a better touch if he could see. But yeah, not much he could do there. Go back to Justin. This is so entertaining to watch. It's a good pass mid. Justin just didn't stay up. Maybe Garrett called him off. Turbo tried, got cut off. If Justin doesn't, that's GG. So that was great by him. Justin's just had no boost. Justin should have. Oh, uh, yeah, I had to try to make something here, but. Great challenge, whatever that was. Uh, the final seconds of our LCS season 8. Who will win? It's not like we already know. Oh uh, yeah, and then this is it. Bang. And drops his controller, car just stays there. That was the end of the season. It's pretty wild though. I do want to see how this worked out though. If this loads. He went for a challenge and got flicked, and yeah, Garrett just sat and then wait. Like is this Fairy's fault? He got it over one, technically. And then Garrett's a demo there. Who got demoed? K Dop does. He wasn't hitting that regardless. So really everything boils down to scrub. But yep, by that point it's just too late. How how do you know to be that far back? He has a hundred boost, but like you can't really tell. Yeah, it's just so hard to know. So, I don't know. Main takeaway was people hit the ball and they don't really whiff from what I saw. Like, I don't know. It's just interesting to watch these people play because I always think I got to play faster. I have to go for more things and just force it out of them. 
but I'm starting to think that I should just be patient and go for the ball that I know I can hit 100%. It's like ones, but with six people. It's like twos, but with two more people. 